Welcome to the Light Designer YouTube channel. Last week was very hectic. Uh, for the last two weeks, I've been running around to produce something that you will be beneficial. And uh, yes, something else is also like I'm planning for something which is very important for the next month. Stay tuned for the updates. And uh, but it had been hectic and we were not able to produce any video last weekend. But we are back with an amazing video and with something which has been bothering many of my mentors. So today we are going to talk about ceiling heights. Yes, everything about ceiling heights, like the confusion behind how to find ceiling heights, so before any further ado, let's get into it. So many of us get the cat drawings and uh, you can go back to the another video where we talk about the best viewer. So if you don't have a viewer for cat file, download the Autodesk cat viewer 2020 version, which is the latest and you can easily view any drawings. So now when you open the drawing, you can always find different variations, different annotations, and this is the best drawing that you can get. Uh, and the other one is the section, uh, which, we'll dis which we have already discussed before. But if you, are, if you get a drawing and it is mentioned CH, now this is a drawing where you can easily understand that this annotates ceiling height. So for each area, the contractor, the designer has mentioned the ceiling heights and this is like the best drawing a lighting designer can get because the lighting layout is there, the ceiling heights where each ceiling are mentioned. So you don't need to do anything else, just import this into dialogues and start designing. Now some of the times it's not mentioned CH, but you can find something like this. ACT, GBC at 2.7, at 2.8. Now in this case, what it is showing is the type of ceiling and the ceiling height. So GBC is the type of ceiling or ACT is the type of ceiling, MTS is the type of ceiling and you can see PCP is again another type of ceiling. Now, these are all types of ceiling and the height is mentioned. This is another beautiful drawing for a lighting designer. But sometimes this is more in the architectural plan rather than the like reflected ceiling plans rather than the lighting plan. So you might need to copy this and paste it in the lighting drawing. But this is another type of drawing that is very beneficial for the lighting designer. Now these are some of the drawings that are very beneficial for lighting design. Why we are discussing about ceiling heights? Because yes, in reality, a small 30 centimeter difference, 10 centimeter difference does not make much of a difference in the lighting layout or the lighting lux levels. But for example, if there is a one meter difference, if there is a two meter difference, it will change your lux levels. So you need to understand what type of ceiling is there and how, what is the ceiling heights. That is the reason that we are trying to debunk some of the annotations that are used in the CAD files. Now coming on down to something which is confusing is the FFL or the finished floor level. Note, we don't need the finished floor level. So whenever you see an FFL, most probably you should disregard it unless, unless you are dealing with uh, like multiple floor building. In this case, FFL can be helpful only when you are like, uh, you don't have a false ceiling. So FFL minus 20 centimeter or 30 centimeter is normally the ceiling height of the floor below it. But in most of the cases, FFL, drop it. Now there is one more term which generally people get confused with, CFL. 
CFL, I'm not talking about the luminaire, the light bulb, CFL, but CFL is ceiling finished level. This is another point that is very helpful to understand the ceiling heights of any area. Basically, it is CH or CH, you can ceiling height, CH, CFL, ceiling finished height, ceiling finished level, both are same. But FFL, finished floor level, that's something you need to disregard. Now some of the time it's not mentioned what it is, but it is just a number with a plus sign. Generally, generally this is the floor level and again you should avoid it unless it is mentioned ceiling height or CFL. Finally, these are all variations where there is some number mentioned. But then there are drawings where there is nothing mentioned at all. Like you don't find any CFL, FFL, CH, anything at all. Now in this case, what you can do is you can ask for a section drawing of the area or a ceiling, reflected ceiling plan. What we discussed, so it will be something like this where you have the ceiling heights mentioned or it could be something like this, like just the CH mentioned or you can request for a section drawing. Now about section drawing and what we need to request, why we need to request, there is a complete another video where you can get in touch and understand. Both of these videos will be in the description below for the CAD viewer and also for understanding more about ceiling heights and why it is necessary. But this video is focused on understanding what are the different annotations used in the CAD fraternity by different architectures, designers, contractors, consultants and what as a lighting designer we need and what we should disregard. Remember, FFL, finished floor level or any numbers with a positive sign unless referring to CFL, CH should be disregarded. So remember, ceiling height, CH, ACT at or GBC at or type of ceiling at or CFL, ceiling finished level. Now these are few points that will be beneficial for you and you can use them and hope this video clarifies your doubts about CFL, FFL, ceiling height, how to get the ceiling height. And at the end, remember, if you are facing any issues or if there is a question, go back to the contractor, check with him that what you are seeing, is it the right number or not? And if you are still confused, ask for section drawing section drawing remember if you have any confusions ask for the section drawing if you have any questions queries feel free to type them in the comments down or send at ask the light designer dot at gmail.com and we'll be more than happy to incorporate that in our next video so that's all for from me hope to see uh, everyone again and Yes, many things are coming up. We are very excited. We have launched our Instagram account and we have also started something that will be very soon published, probably next early next month. In the meantime, subscribe the YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and the bell icon for the latest updates.